Day five, keep Lucy out of mischief for a little while longer. Um, Subtipadangustasan, uh, the supine leg lengthening pose, okay? So just sit yourself down. Lengthen your spine, so walk onto your elbows, legs are bent, feet are on the floor. Let me move here a little bit more. Hang on. Let me move here a little bit more so you can see. That's it. Toes turned in a little. Feet level. I'm not sure if my camera is wonky. So get your feet level, bring your ankle bones together. Okay? And then take the heels apart and then step the feet forwards. Cuddle your left knee in towards your chest. Keep the tail wagging, your tail, your tailbone wagging towards the lower foot, the lower ankle. Open the chest so you want to feel a nice levelness of the spine. And then release. Second side. And then release. And then just wait here for a couple of moments. Allow the breath to come up into the chest and feel the length of the spine that you've just created there. Relax the eyes and release the tongue. And at this point, I'm wondering whether I can find somewhere a little less windy. <laughs> I haven't even had cauliflower for breakfast. Now take your left leg Stretch it away. See how long you can make it feel. And now compare the left and the right waist. Notice how that length of leg has made your waist feel much longer. And then take the right leg and stretch it away. Bring the legs together. Roll the thighs in. Contract the thigh muscles. So the thigh muscles wrap to the bone and draw the kneecaps up, stretch into the heels. Tuck the shoulder blades deep into the back and just be here for a few moments. Now keeping your right leg straight, keeping the tailbone in the midline, keeping your the center line of the body in the center. Okay, so if I take my belt, your awareness is down through here, yes, down through the midline of the pose. And think about the midline of the waist as well. And then bend up your left leg and try and keep that awareness through the midline of the pose. Hold the shin, keep the collarbones broad, so the whole of the body is feeling like it's doing the yoga practice, not your upper body pulling your lower body towards it. Each area working for itself. Now you've got this, if you've copied me, you've got a belt now lying down on your tummy. Um, So if that's the case, take the belt, place it around the foot and just have it on the heel. Now we're only taking the leg up to 90 degrees or towards 90 degrees for this first one. So take the leg up and stretch into the heel. Open the soles of the feet. I've been running around with my um, shoes off, so I'm hoping my feet aren't too grubby. If they are, I'm sorry. <laughs> now keeping that leg nice and straight, compare the work in the lower leg and the raised leg. Levelize your hip bones. Levelize the sacrum. And then release the leg and bring the leg back down. Just bring your awareness back to your center.
end up to your right leg. Keep the tailbone wagging down towards that lower leg so you still feel like there's a centre line in the middle of your body. It's not drifted over, especially that lower half. And quietly cuddle that knee in. Take a couple of breaths. So in every moment, you're bringing yourself back to the state you would be in if you were going to say the invocation or you were going to take a breath. In this morning's class, I said about uh, you know something marvellous about Mother Nature. How put the belt on the heel. Put the belt on the heel, and then straighten the leg up to 90 degrees, keeping that tailbone wagging towards that lower leg. Mother Nature has a way of taking care of things. You do nothing. When when I was pregnant with the boys, and um, all I had was to be pregnant. You know, I couldn't do anything to make the boys happen. Mother Nature took that thing. Um, Mother Nature has a way of taking care in her own time. And our breath does that to our bodies and to our minds. Taking the car to the heel, thighs firm. And these last few days, I've really been feeling the joy of this thing called Iyengar Yoga because it gives us the opportunity for when we're frustrated to, to spend some time and focus on very simple movements of the body. We're not, we're not forcing the body into anything it doesn't want to do. We're feeling the body. We're becoming sensitive beings. Right, for this leg, it's really enjoying the opening up of the back of this hamstring here. Without pulling on anything yet, we're not, we're not challenging the fibres. We're just letting them release, I'm just letting them release. Compare the left and the right leg. And then release. Bring the leg down and just see how it feels. Take a nice deep breath into the chest, as if you're in Tadasan, but it's a supine Tadasan now. Okay, now keep your right leg nice and strong, bend up the left leg, and place the belt around the foot, and now have it on the heel again. This time keeping the leg straight, pressing the right leg towards the floor and stretching into the heel and extending the mound of the big toe of that right leg. Keeping the hips level so where my hands are, fold the leg from there. Keep the leg straight, keep the leg straight, keep the tailbone moving as much as it can towards that lower leg as possible. And you'll start to feel a deeper action in the groins. Spread out the toes, extend onto the inner edge of that big toe, and then just ask yourself the question, is my chest nice and open? Relax the eyes, release the tongue. You can gaze towards the big toe and admire it. It's the most beautiful big toe you've ever seen on your left leg or if it's your right leg that you happen to have in the air, your right leg. Allow the leg to travel towards you in its own time. And then lower the leg down straight. Second side. Belt on the heel. Grip the hips back to Tadasan. Lift the chest. Relax the eyes. Release the tongue. Raise the leg up. Nice, long, straight legs. Admiring that big toe. Wagging the tailbone down towards that lower leg as much as you can. And allowing the straight leg to come towards you. 
chest open, legs long, breathe, and say your leg doesn't come up so high, that doesn't matter, what matters is that you're enjoying the stretch in your own leg. You can't enjoy the stretch in anybody else's, you can't feel it. <laughs> Let the exhalation release. Let the exhalation release the tissues of the body as gently as it releases from your own body. And picture the leg growing longer and longer and longer as if you're stretching into the tip of the toe and then out past that area. Levelizing the hips and then exhale, release. Okay, this time put the left foot in the belt and have the belt on the ball of the foot. Check that the feet are together and that your big toe of your right leg and left leg are pointing up. So if you bring the big toes together and have the heels slightly separated, now can you keep the right leg that still? Raising the left leg up, raising the left leg up, raising that left leg up, pointing through the toe a little and feel how that brings the work differently through the leg. You can explore this more and more and more. Just raise that leg up, raise that leg up and then you might find that you could hold the foot with your thumb and finger. You might not. If you do hold the foot, then it's like putting um, extra extra um, pressure on the gas pedal. Press the mound of the big toe away and you'll feel that leg lengthen all the way, right up into the fingers, and then draw that shoulder back. Leg strong, tailbone wagging towards that lower foot. Just, you might want to glance to make sure that lower foot is still pointing up, not flopped off to the side. I'll stop gripping that belt. And then you can take this hand and press it down on the lower thigh. We've got one hand up, one hand down. And then exhale, lower the leg down straight. Compare. Now, this leg should feel like the shiniest, newest leg. If you're going into a shop to buy some legs, you'd choose. I, if I had to choose this leg or this leg, I would choose the leg I just had up in the air. It feels longer. It feels so nice. So now I've got to make the other leg match it because you can't buy, there's no point in buying a pair of shoes, one, one looking much newer than the other. Or maybe if it became fashionable, I'm sure there would be a reason for that. Right, big toes up. Okay, have the belt on the ball of the foot. And when you're ready, with an exhalation, swing that, so it's like you're drawing a large um, large arc with the toes, raise the leg up, extending through into the toes. And again, do you remember I said that you let the leg come to you? So you're not pulling the leg. Let the leg come to you, extend into the big toe, allow the leg to come this way. Allow the leg to come this way. Just come on, come to me. And you might find but after a while, you can take hold of that big toe. So I'm removing the belt now. Opening up the back of the leg, extending into, so again, put the, put the extra effort onto the accelerator pedal. So now turning into a go faster pose. Open up the back of the knee. Open up the back of the knee. Open up the back of the hamstring. So you want to feel wide across the back of the hamstring of that raised leg. Just glance that that foot hasn't flopped out to the side, that lower foot, and then press your hand down on the thigh. Open and extend up through those legs. Relax the shoulders down towards the floor. Relax the eyes, release the tongue. Admire your big toe. Tailbone, moving towards that lower leg. Breathe. I'm 
just long quiet. It feels really nice. <laughs> and then exhale, keeping the leg straight, release the leg down. Now, do the legs both feel shiny and new? Oh, they feel lovely to me. We've got another thing to do. If it's harder with a shorter belt, if you haven't got the length of the hamstring, so you might want to have a long belt. If you haven't got a long belt with you and you've got one somewhere, just pause and then come back. Take a loop like this. If you've got two belts, that's really even more, even more betterly. It's even better. But there you go, look, this is the new way. This is the, the very, very subtle Emperor's new sandal. The, the, the official version, there's nothing there, but this version, you have this little clasp to hold the invisible sandal on. All right, you're gonna take the arms, and you're gonna stretch the arms like this up and over your head. So you hold the belt, you raise the leg up, keeping it straight, stretching through into that lower leg, Take the arms, if the shoulders allow, up and over the head, stretch through to the fingertips, and you're now putting yourself in a little bit of traction here. Breathe, think about the action of the tailbone. Relax the eyes, release the tongue. Breath smooth and even, legs long. Extending into the mound of the big toe. You'll feel as you start to work that leg more and more, you'll start to feel the thigh becoming a little stronger. Hamstrings releasing a little more, perhaps. And then exhale, release. Change legs. So if you've got two belts on, you can actually allow yourself to um, just savour that moment. I raced between two sides then, I apologise. I'm getting excited here. So let's just savour that moment. Lie in Tadasana. Check that your midline is there. Rolling the thighs from outside in. And then you're going to raise up the second side. Okay? So be aware of the length of the legs. And then walk the hands up the belt towards the foot. Take, so we're making the arms straight. So they're stretching out of the shoulders. Now raise the arms up and over the head, drawing that leg with you. Stretching through the arms, being mindful of your shoulders, lengthening the whole time, taking that leg more and more towards you. But because of the the nature of the grip of the belt, actually the leg has to do a lot of work. It's not just a case of brute strength to pull that leg towards you. It's a case of working out how to release the tissues at the back of the leg. So take the breath into the back of the leg and picture it widening when you exhale. Penetrate the, the femur bone, the thigh bone towards the hamstring wall by pressing that thigh back. Take the outer hip away from the waist on that raised leg side. And keep that lower leg nice and strong. A couple more moments here. Extending into the fingers, lengthening the arms. And then with an exhale, release the leg down nice and straight. Let go of the belt. Let yourself come back again to a supine Tadasana. Take some breaths. Your legs should feel super long here. And then when you're ready, Roll the thighs in. As you roll the thigh in, roll, picture, you want to turn your foot also at the same time. So it's like, it's very easy if you think about waving your hand, wave your foot to the midline and then bend the leg up. So the leg is engaged with the whole movement. You're not just asking the back. Do the same on both sides. And just take that belt off. Okay. 
okay? Cuddle the knees in. Just gently rock from side to side. Relax the eyes, release the tongue. Place the feet back down to the floor. Squeeze those knees together just to get a nice containment across the hips. And so here now you can either choose to do another practice or to start your own standing practice or whatever it is that you fancy doing. Or if that's enough for you for today, you can go my yoga practice, that's my asana practice, and just quietly stretch the legs away, release the hands down, relax the feet, relax the calves, and allow the eyes to soften, allow the face to soften, release and relax. release the legs release the tongue enjoy your shavasana have a restful peaceful day